So, Fumi is almost level 7. And here's another Mankey. Don't you just pack. And this Mankey. Ooh, a oh, I thought that was a critical hit for a second. That's in the red. Okay, Mankey will use Weird to lower my defense by one's number. And let's use one more pack, and this Mankey should go down. There we go. Fear me. Fainted this Mankey level 4 male. You know. 42 experience points. That's awesome. That's actually a lot for this point of the game, actually. But at least for a coming from a wild Pokemon encounter. Here's a, here's a, a Sparrow level 3 female. I'll send up my own Sparrow. Fear me. Now let's just peck on this thing. And three pack should faint this Spiro, maybe four now, because it lower because the Spiro used Growl and lowered Fumi's um attack by one number. So you know, okay, won't well, yeah, okay, maybe four now because it's used two Growls to lower my attack another number, or or Fumi's attack. Let's just one with pack, and okay, it was enough anyway. Because I only took three packs instead of four, like I thought. Nice, Fumi um gained 24 experience points, grew to level seven. Give me also a weir. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is take on my revel now, but I wanna heal up my Pokemon of course first. I was planning on having all my all three of my Pokemon here being level nine, but Fumi is not level nine yet. But the Vinny Force is coming up, so you know, that's a place where Fumi can actually uh, get a lot of levels up, level ups and grow levels. So because like I think level grinding is kinda dragging on. I don't want it to drag on. So I'm just gonna continue the story. So yeah, let's go heal up our Pokemon at the Pokemon Center, and let's talk to Nurse Joy or the Nurse, however you want to, whatever you want to call her. Uh, those two names, because like if you call her something else, would be inappropriate in some cases. Yeah, let's just stick to the Nurse or Nurse Joy. <laughs> okay, she doesn't have a Chansey though, and I think in Pokemon Yellow, that's the only game she has Chansey in it next to her at the counter. If I would, yeah, pretty much. I think it's just Pokemon Yellow, and maybe in Red, Blue, and Green, but I only remember in Pokemon Yellow. So yeah, so let's go back to Route 22, and if you go past this tall grass, and good, we didn't win a lot of Pokemon battle. We go to the, uh, to the right, or left, I can't even, my directions, yeah, I have no sense of direction, sorry. Uh, Gary, no, that was a joke, sorry. Hey, Grodel, uh, Gary's here again. You have to the Pokemon League, forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? I don't have any badges, sorry. The guard wants you to shoot without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? I just want to battle you, okay, for, for experience, because I think I'm going to win. I believe that I can win, Gary, Oak, from Pallet Town. And yeah, this again, I'll say this again, it's an optional fight. You can totally just skip over this fight, but I want to just show it for experience and for the just the sake of showing it, because... Why not? You get experience too. He has a Pidgey level 9 like I said before. And he has, uh, qu there's Quick Attack and, yeah. Another Quick Attack. One more Quick Attack should paint this Pidgey. This Tackle will do 13 HP, but I know this Pidgey does not have Quick Attack on it. So I'm going to go for the Quick Attack. There we go. And because I think Pidgey learns Quick Attack level 15 or 13. I can't remember which one. So Pidgey fainted. We got... Chelsea got a lot of experience. Awesome. Bulbasaur. So, yeah. Bulbasaur, okay. So, we'll switch to Fumi. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, we will, actually, because I don't want, I don't want uh, Chelsea to faint. But then I could have just gone for a quick attack and just done my damage. Just done it right there. Oh, critical hit again. Okay, let's just pack on this thing. Three packs should faint this Bulbasaur. So, yeah. There we go, almost fainted. Small is also going to be level 9 too. Oh, another quick hit, are you kidding me? Okay. And let's go to Chelsea then. Let's just use quick attack on Ch uh, Let's just use quick attack. There we go. And we take down the Bulbasaur. And Chelsea, almost grade level actually. Wait, are we defeated Gary? Oh, you just lucked out. Thanks for the 94 Poké Dollars though. I read that the Pokemon League is is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit Waddle and get a move on. Well, I'm the one who won the battle we just had, so that's okay. That's on you. I mean, I'm, that's on you. I mean, it's your fault that you lost your battle, man. You should have been tougher, you know. So let's go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, and we should be ready to, you know, head out for Viridian Forest. So I'm looking forward to that. 
There we go. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yeah, we would love to. I would love to do that. We would love to do that. And yeah, we hope to see you again. Yes, you too, Nurse Joy slash Nurse. And let's see our Pokemon. I'm gonna put um, Fumi up front because the Raining Forest is coming up with a lot of bug type Pokemon. And bug type Pokemon are weak to flying type Pokemon, or at least flying type moves. So yeah, what do you have to say? I go shopping in Peter City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail in Burning Force when I go. And let's talk to this guy right here. Well now that I have my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Hmm, what what is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, uh, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon. I've caught two already, but okay, I suppose I better I suppose I better show you then. Wait a just show me when I don't need to, or when I don't need to know. But yeah, this is basically a t tutorial for catching a Pokemon. He's just gonna throw a Pokeball at it though, at the Weedle. And, I mean, that works because Weedle has a s s high catch rate, but it might not always work. And he doesn't have any Pokemon to weaken down the Weedle, so he just shows us how to throw a Pokeball at a Weedle, at a Pokemon. So he's just misleading beginners, or people, or train, p uh, people who don't know how to play the game too well. Like, they, he's basically promoting, hey, just throw a Pokeball at the Pokemon, and you always catch it. I remember in the Pokemon, in the original Red, Blue, and Yellow, he didn't catch it. It took, like, three times, and, yeah, he didn't catch it, and he's like, oh, man, I got, I'm losing my touch. I gotta go back to the Pokemon for more Pokeballs, because he had only one Pokeball. He didn't have any extra Pokeballs in case he had to try again and show us at the same time, you know, at the same sitting or whatever. There, now tell me that was educational, was it not? No, it wasn't educational, and here, take this, too. The Teachy TV, okay. It's a key item. If there's something you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Okay, so th the Teachy TV basically looks like this. Oh, not the po it doesn't look like a Pokeball. But if you use it, um, here's this. T there's here's like tutorials on how to do stuff like teach me how to battle. What are status problems like status conditions like? Okay, teach me how to battle is basically how to win a Pokemon battle by using attacks and stuff, I guess, and, you know, being strategic. And status problems like poison, heat, poison, sleep, burn, paralysis, heals, burn, I said burn twice, stuff like that. What are type matchups like a matchup between, like, a Squirtle and a Charmander, like, a Squirtle has a type advantage because it's a water type against the fire type Charmander, stuff like that. I want to catch a Pokemon, how to catch a Pokemon, I guess. I think Bill, who who is actually... There's a trainer, but I don't remember his name that his name was. Teachy TV, okay. What was it? His name was... What was his name? Hey, all you trainers out there. Hello, trainers. Come on, let me hear you. Hello, trainers. It's me, the po the Pokey Dude. Okay, his name is Pokey Dude. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Because I was wondering what his name was, because I know that was, he had a name, at least. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to the Reading Force. We have some items, too. I'll show off what I have, I guess. Let's see, what do I have? I've, I have four potions, three antidotes, and two paralysis seals. That should get you through Viridian Force if you know where you're going and stuff. I'm gonna go around these tall grass right here and avoid these wild Pokemon. And here's a transitional building. I'll just call it that for this series, transitional building. If you talk to her, she'll say, Rata may be small, but don't underestimate its wicked bite. Have you caught it one already? Yes, I do. I'm using it on my team as my final, as one of my final team members. Are you going to Vidden Forest? It's, it's a natural maze in there. Be careful and and you and don't you d be careful you don't get lost. Okay, I won't. I'm an experienced Pokemon player. I know this game fairly well, <laughs> if not well. Let's talk to this guy. I came here with some friends to catch us some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into some Pokemon battles. And right here is an uh, antidote. Cool. In the corner, it's a hidden item. If you go over here. Well, I'll show off this little part to the left here. This doesn't have a trainer in it, but in the, I think it was only in Pokemon Yellow that there was a trainer there. I think it was the last. So yeah, just fun fact of the day. There we go. Oh, uh, not, not there we go. It's a Caterpie, okay. Level 3. Now, if you're playing Fire Red like me, you are going to run into more Weedles than Caterpies, statistically, because... Weedle has a Weedle has a higher per per appearance rate than Caterpie does, but if you're playing with Green, you're gonna run into more Caterpies than Weedles, and I prefer Caterpie over Weedle anyway. So, yeah, if you want to catch a bug Pokemon in here, I rec I recommend I guess Caterpie. 
I mean, it's not that great, but it can work like confusion and stuff, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, here's a Weirdo, level 5. We're gonna be running into one in a lot, into a lot of these in the wild for wild encounters if you're playing Pokemon Fire Red, as I said before. So, and it has Poison Sting, or I think it's Poison Sting right there, but it has Poison Sting, which has a chance of poisoning you, which is really annoying. So that's why you want to have enough antidotes. I have three right now, so that should be good for me at least. And I think you find two antidotes while in the, um, Viridian Forest. We already found one antidote in that tree earlier. So that's like, four, I have four antidotes technically right now. So that's good. That's all good. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's move on. Um, I think, is there something up here? I always wonder if there's something up here. Um, no, I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Just checking. Ah, no, not an encounter. Um, here's a Weedle. And I do want to catch a Pokemon in the Radiant Forces. I'm going to say right now it's a Pikachu. Because I want to use a Pikachu on my team. I've used it before on my team, but it's such a great Pokemon. I might as well use it. I like having, it's like a really good electric type in this game. So, yeah. Probably one of the best electric type Pokemon in the game. In my opinion, at least. So you could have looked good there. You saw that poison thing hit Fumi, but we didn't, uh, but Fumi didn't get poisoned, which is really nice actually. So that's good. Okay, over here I think is another potion as an item in the grass. There it is, and it's a potion, yay. So yeah, if we talk to this guy, uh, if I can get out of the grass, but I didn't because I at least right now because I ran into the wild Pokemon. Okay, that's cool. Let's use Peck Attack. There we go. And if you talk to this guy right here, I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and I ran out. That's why you can never have too many Pokeballs. I hear you, man. I hear you. Here's the Bug Catcher. I think this is Bug Catcher Rick. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle him. Why not? Why not? Okay. Okay, here's a Weedle. Get Peck Attack, okay. Uh, well, two more, one more Peck should defeat this Weedle, and oh no. Ah, I got, uh, Fumi got poisoned. That was a, that's what I was afraid of. There we go. What's, uh, Fumi grid level 8, so that's good. And Caterpie. Okay, let's use another Peck. And this should take another. Oh, cool. One hit KO. Nice. So this Caterpie just went down, I guess. One Peck. We defeated Bug Catcher Rick. Yo, Caterpie can't hack it. Good old. Uh, we got 72 Poker Dollars. Nice. And right here. Oh, I gotta, feel, I gotta heal that poison, actually. By the way, um, outside of battle, poison will, uh, every step, every time it does that little shaky screen thing, it, that means, um, your Pokemon took 1 HP, lost 1 HP from the poison, because it lingers outside of battle, if that makes any sense. So yeah, let's move on. I think right here is, okay, hold on. I'm going to show that where you can get another antidote. Right here is another antidote. So yeah, there's another antidote. So, I'm pretty much balanced because I used an antidote, but I also received another antidote. So yeah. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Well, of course you can. You don't- it's necess- it's not- I mean, you can't- You're necessarily wrong about that. But catch your dog. Okay, here's a Weedle. Peck attack. One more peck should faint this. Weedle, I should use a potion actually after this battle. So yeah, there goes the Weedle, thanks for the critical hit. Game, I appreciate it. And the Weedle faints, Fame grew the 7 8 experience points. Weedle, another Weedle comes out. Oh, by the way, I should show my settings for the game because I didn't actually do that yet. So I'll do that in a second. After this battle, actually. Dang it, you, you, you poisoned me. You poisoned Fame, come on. Juicy's peck, and there we go. The Weedle goes down and faints. Cool. Fumi grew level 9. 
And, oh, there's one more Pokemon. I think it's a Caterpie. Nope, it's a Kakuna. Okay, so about Kakunas in the wild, Kakunas and Metapods in the wild, for wild encounters, they, um, dang, I'm gonna, Fumi's gonna faint. Let's hope not, but, maybe it does 3 HP. I'm pretty sure it does 3 HP. Oh, uh, man, we're gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Or, we don't necessarily have to go back to the Pokemon Center, but, kinda went to Fumi to get this experience points. So, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. So, yeah. Oh, come on, that didn't faint the Kakuna. Oh, man. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so... I'm gonna show... Well, what the, the, the options after this battle, but there's something else I wanted to show uh, that I was gonna say showed. Hmm, I can't remember now. Dang it. So here's the options, here's my options. I did text speed fast, battle style on, or battle scene on, battle style set. So like if it's shift, it'll tell you what Pokemon the trainer or your opponent's gonna use next. So that's why I have it set, cause I want a little challenge. And then st sound, stereo, I guess, and then button mode L equals A, and then frame is type three because um, I want it to be, cause this is Pokemon Fire Red, I want a red frame, I guess. So it matches, I guess. So that's why, and I went back to the options, okay. So let me go back to the Pokemon Center. So I'm gonna just have to walk over to the Pokemon Center because we still don't have the running shoes. But we'll get them later. We'll get them after the first gym badge, I should say. So yeah, because I want, you know, Fumi to get a lot of experience in the Forbidden Forest because all the bug type trainers. So yeah, let's go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. Okay, let's do this. There we go. We can learn Viridian Suri again. Yeah, nice. And let's go to the Pokemon Center. There we go. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes. Yes, please. There we go. Nice. Nice, we got this. 